We just got a big package from Wisconsin this morning. FedEx dropped it off. This is all the pieces for the inner bed structure for my 66 GMC truck. So we're gonna open it up, check out some of these parts. Um, probably won't start mocking it up just yet, but uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, I am gonna need some snips. Okay, so these are all parts that we designed right here in-house <clears throat> and SolidWorks. Um, you know, we had the chassis mocked up with the bed on it. And so basically what I did was I redrew the frame rails in SolidWorks and did a lot of measuring. Um, we did not use 3D scanning in this process. It was all manual measurements, but it wasn't too difficult because everything was really square. And the chopping block frame rails were all very, very nice. So that gave us a good starting point to design other parts off of. So we will have to do a little bit of hand work on these. Um, once it's on the truck, we'll get it all mocked up in here. But there shouldn't be too much, shouldn't be too bad. A lot of it should go together like a model kit. Nice, look at that. Everything is cold finished, either cold finished steel or pickled and oiled steel. So this is a quarter inch thick steel plate. This is the bracket that holds the air management valves. So they bolt right here. This bolts to the main front wall of the bed and the air tank straddles right through here. So we'll weld these corners up and finish those off. Um, so it's, you can see how nice that is. I mean, that's some beefy, beefy steel right there that's all CNC press broke and laser cut. Tabbed and slotted so that everything fits together real nice. Okay, now these here, these are a little bit thinner. These are 14 gauge steel. And these are one of the inner bedside pieces. Pretty sure this one goes right there but further forward once we get that brace out of the way and so these your bed rides on the top of that lip right there um this is where the bed floor will sit right here on this flange and it'll be about that high that's about the correct height so yeah and the reason for this step here is because it has to bypass this so when the bed floor opens it, it goes past this it clears this um and now these holes here, these are plug weld holes. So this will get plug welded right into the original metal and it'll become a solid piece of the structure. So those will get plug welded from under here. So once it's all clamped in there, we'll just hit it with the MIG welder up there. And the same thing here, these are, these are plug weld holes on the backside. They'll get plug welded right here. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so this is the same piece, but this is for the rear. Or no, this is the front, that one was the rear. Yeah, this is the front one. Yeah, this is the front one because this is where the um, the front panel bolts to that. Oh, this is the hinge arms. So in the SolidWorks model, we designed the hinge arms for the uh, the trunk lid, I guess you can call it. So this is the one that, um, this will bolt to the trunk structure and this gets welded to a pivot point that pivots right on the sway, the rear sway bar. And so that'll open up the rear trunk. And you can see they're already drilled and tapped. So all we have to do is put a bolt in them. These are more hinge arms it looks like. Ah, these are my exhaust hanger brackets. So these will go, um, these will get welded um, to the bumper and then bolts go through them to mount the exhaust tips rigid to the bumper. It's laser cut, half inch thick steel. So. Yeah, 
Okay, here's some more hinge arms. These are for the front bed, uh, the main, the larger um, bed cover. They just, they kind of tilt like this. That's all they do. I can't remember what that is. Oh, those are, I know what those are. Those are, those are weld on pieces that I have to weld on after the fact. So depending on how you design stuff, sometimes you have, you can't bend everything. Um, so you have to weld some stuff on, but these are the, the hinge gussets. So <clears throat> like the, these arms bolt right to those and that's the pivot point. See how it lines up perfectly. And so this whole thing supports the, the main bed lid and it pivots like that. And then it all bolts right to the top right here with PIM certs. All right, this is gonna become the access door for the fuel pump and stuff. So when you pop up the trunk right here, this rear section will pop up and then this will be down on top of the, the fuel tank. And so it'll have two aircraft latches that go right here in these holes. And this will, you just pop those two latches and this will hinge up and comes out. So then you have complete access to the fuel pump and the fuel sending unit. Let's see. These are splash pans. These are the front um, inner splash pans to keep all the dirt and everything off of the components inside the bed. So all of these holes have a purpose. So these holes here get rubber grommets in them and then those get mounted directly to the chassis to keep the vibration isolated. Let's see what do we got here. Ah, these are um, air compressor uh, mounting brackets for the Vi Air compressor pumps. So they'll bolt right there, and then this bolts to the front wall, to the front <coughs> uh, main structure. These are the side panels that are sort of like a splash pan. There again, the large holes all get rubber grommets, and those get bolted directly to the chassis. So um, this oval right here is where the exhaust pipe pokes through the side of the frame. This is clearance for the air tank. So the air tank sits right here in the middle. And then all of this bolts to the front main wall. And the pieces get bigger after that. So. These two pieces will end up getting curved. So because you can't do certain things in SolidWorks, I mean, you can pretty much do, I mean, in SolidWorks, I could have made them the shape that I wanted to but it wouldn't have really been a benefit because the machine that needs to bend it can't bend it the way it needs to be bent. So what I did was just use a little forethought and just leave it straight and then we'll manually bend it. We'll have to shrink and stretch these flanges to curve these pieces, but these become inner splash pans for the rear trunk section. All right, here's one of the main floor sections. Okay, so We've got here is a little hole that is gonna, that's gonna be where our lock mechanism bolts in there. So these will be lockable compartments. And then this is a flush mount aircraft style latch that bolts in there. Goes like that. And then they all bolt together. Bolt together in the middle to become one lid. And then the hinges bolt to those structural pieces where they're folded down. Okay, and then this is the, the main, this is the other lid pieces for the, the front, the bigger lid. And the notch around there is the part that goes around the wheel tubs. This is the main front wall that everything bolts to. This one's cool. This one's got the Hammer Fab logo burned into it. So that's the piece that uh, when you drop the tailgate, that'll be visible through the tailgate. So I'm not going to unbox all that right now, but... 
I know I like before, how before we started you said, I really don't want to get it pulled out all over the floor. You said, yeah, it just it turns into such a huge... It's a lot of metal to move. Yeah, so what we'll do is uh, here pretty soon I'll get the bed mounted on the truck and then start putting these pieces in one by one and put it together like a big puzzle. And then there'll be some things that we have to kind of figure out along the way. And then once we get all those things figured out, get all the welding done, all the grinding done and everything, then we'll design the final bed floor for getting the gator step stuff made. And then once that's designed, we'll blow it all apart again, get everything powder coated. Um, and then send off the file to get the, the floor made and then we'll wait for that. And then, man, we'll have a bed here pretty soon. So just got to put in some time. But this has got me excited about putting in some extra time. So may have to start coming in some more on the weekends and stuff. It ain't going to get done by itself.